Welcome to another tutorial by Brando Consulting. In this tutorial we're going to demonstrate how class tracking works on the sales order screen. Now let's add a part to the sales order. I'm going to add ANBABL. There we go. And I'm going to add another part number that's going to be ANBA. Now we've got a black anchor base and an anchor base with class none for each and class none for the sales order. I'm going to make each one different so you can see how it goes over to QuickBooks. So we're going to make the anchor base, let's say that is a class of um, manual pool systems. Then we'll do anchor base BL, we'll say that's a class of samples. So we're going to give this away for free as a sample. I'll even change the price to zero there. So samples. And then since we're selling this as usual, let's give away more of a, a wholesale number. Then the order class, let's say the entire order is going to be um, custom pool systems. We get this little pop-up. If you want all of the classes to be the same, you click yes. In this example, we want them to be different, so I'm going to click no. All right, so we're ready to ship it and show you what it looks like in QuickBooks. Export watch it export. We're going to have an invoice pop up right there that exported to QuickBooks. Beautiful. In QuickBooks we want to go find this. The easiest way I found to find this is go to edit, find, go to the memo section. There we go. Memo. Type in FB colon. Then we want the sales order number dash and that was a sales order number. Let's see if I got it. All right, there we go. So let's expand that so you can see it better. There's our sales order. Invoice and journal entries connected to that invoice. Let's go ahead and go to that invoice. And you'll see here on this invoice, the class is right there. That correlates to the class we had on the sales order. So custom pool systems there custom pool systems there. For the lines, there's our samples class and our manual pool systems class. So now you can run a P&L by class or a balance sheet by class. Okay, so I ran three P&Ls, one from each class that we looked at from the sales order. Let's take a look. First of all, the P&L by custom pool. The P&L by custom pool is the sales order class or the invoice class, the entire transaction class. It didn't show the cost of the samples included. So this one is a failure. The P&L by manual pool systems, the one line that we made a profit on, this line right here, showed the income and the cost for that particular line. The other P&L was uh, filtered just for samples, and that pulled in another transaction, so it's kind of difficult to see just for this invoice on this transaction and this scrap. But if we go to the journal entries for this report, or for this invoice, then we can see the classes here, custom pool systems, samples, manual pool systems for each line. So the sales account got the manual pool systems, that's the income, and then the samples received the sample class at a zero income. The debit went to the line class, the credit went to the order class. And of course there's another journal entry that applies to inventory and cost of goods sold that this one isn't showing that, that the P&Ls were showing. 
So if we want to see those journal entries, we'll go to Edit, Find, and there we go. Here's the journal entries for those, our COGS entries and our asset entries. Let's go there. Here we are. We've got the sample class there and the manual pool systems there. So the samples didn't cost much. The manual pool systems was a little bit more. Thanks for joining us today on this little journey through class tracking and getting familiar with class tracking in Fishbowl Inventory.